Hey, hey guys, so my um, grandpa's um, birthday was on October 12th, which is the same day as Columbus Day, um, and I couldn't upload both of the videos, so I'm recording this a couple days after. But anyways, I thought, I, I meant to do this uh, recently after he um, went home to the Lord on January 9th. Was it January 9th? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I meant to do it more sooner, um, but it's been a while, and I forgot. And then I just remembered recently, and then it was birthday, so I thought it would be a good time to do it now. So this is a memorial to my grandpa in stamps. The first stamps that remind me of my grandpa were, uh, are these stamps, which I actually found in his office um, after he passed away. I think it was in my uncle's trash can. Um, but they're on a manila envelope, and these are the same Martin Luther stamps that I had in my video um, a couple weeks ago um, about this Martin Luther. Uh, so anyways, this, these stamps remind me, regardless of the manila envelopes, they remind me of my grandpa because he became a Christian in his late 40s and was a Christian and a Gideon throughout his whole life. And so yeah, these are pretty cool to have because they're on the manila envelope from his trash can stamp that reminds me of my grandpa is this salmon stamp and actually I was sorting it through my stamps and I thought this was a rainbow trout but it was actually salmon um, but anyways um, it reminds me of him because we went like when I go and visit him sometimes um, we fish together and I think we fished like three times all together but we go we, like Silver Lake but another lake and I think it was called Wood Lake up in Northern California and then we we like catch trout and we caught rainbow trout and brook trout and one time we were fishing and he caught we caught only brook trout and said that was the only time that he's ever caught only brook trout um and i don't think we got to eat that because we had to go the next day so i don't think we got to eat the brook trout but yeah um so yeah actually my mom told me we took it home and ate some of it so the next stamp is this stamp which is uh, a picture of a tree, and it says the, the charter oak, um, and I think it's Connecticut Tur uh, Centenary. Um, but anyways, that's not what reminds me of him, is because he had a lot of oak trees. He had uh, 40 acres up in Northern California, and near Amador County, which is in the country. And there was part of his property, which is like, like has barely any trees, and has like nice hills, little hills. And then there's this one tree, I'm pretty sure, and it's just out there. And so this this tree, this tree, stamp really reminded me of him because it shows like hills and that shows this one tree. In the background, you can see a, a bunch of trees and that's what it was like up um, on his property. So that's pretty cool. So this next stamp is a California commemorative stamp. And he lived, he was born and died in California and he lived only two years in Massachusetts, and the rest were all in California, which is pretty cool. Um, but he loved how like beautiful it was and everything. So this stamp reminded me of him. Um, and we live in California too, so that that's pretty cool. This thirty cent wine revenue stamp reminds me of my grandpa because he was he loved wine and he lived like where they grow all the grapes and everything. Um, but he had a whole base like not whole basement, but in his like basement there was a bunch of a little shed or I don't know, cat pantry full of food and there was a bunch of wine there because he was like part of clubs and he just sent him wine. And after he died he hadn't even made it through all of his wine. There's so much um there. So yeah, he really liked wine. He'd always have a glass of it with his dinner when we were there. So that reminded me of him. These next couple of stamps um, depict a bunch of wildlife, and where he lived, there was a lot of wildlife, and he really loved wildlife um, and the country. So these really remind me of him. Um, yeah, he this stamp shows geese, and he had geese flying above his property a lot um, in their V formation, and then he also loved buffalo. Um, so yeah, these stamps, he, he loved wildlife. Yeah. The next stamps, uh, show this is like an Iojima stamp and then there's a lot of uh, American flag stamps and these remind me because he loved he loved this uh, country and what it stood for about freedom and everything so this this really remind me of him because 
he always would, like watch news and everything. Um, every time we were there, he'd always turn it on at night, um, like right after he was done eating dinner. So yeah. The last stamp um, that reminds me of my grandpa is this uh, stamp for numismatics. I don't know if I said that right, but it's coin collecting. And he he wasn't really much of a coin collector, but he for a few years he collected um, nickels. Like and he had like nickels from the 30s, like buffalo nickels, I think, and things like that. Um, and I and I saw his collection. So actually, I was, I had I had the collection for a little bit, and then my grandma's like, I want that. So then I, she took it away. Um, so anyways. Yep, this stamp reminds me because he had that small little collection. And he also had some other coins from like different countries like Mexico and stuff. And I remember when I was younger, he gave me a couple of Mexican coins and one of the coins was, it was a big coin and I always loved it. And one time I tried, one time with one, he gave me these two um, 20 peso coins. And I tried pretending they were, they were $20 each with these kids one time. But yeah, that was a lot though. I wrote a eulogy for my grandpa, um, and so I'll read it to you. G is for two things, grandpa and generosity. Grandpa Bob was an extremely generous person. He, did, he donated large sums of money to churches, individuals, missionaries, and missions, conservative and pro-freedom causes, and Christian organizations like prison ministries, his personal favorite. I remember a lot of times in my life where my grandpa was generous. When I was 11, he let me drive his red ATV, or four-wheeler, all by myself after he had ridden a little bit with me. He also gave me his iPhone to go around his property and take pictures that he'd later print for me. Grandpa also owned an adding machine that he used every day from when he bought it to when he went home, and he let me use it all the time. I, I realize now that it's more important for him to share his things rather than to be worried about them breaking. On top of all the generosity, he also gave me many special gifts. He gave me a brand new camera still in its box. He had planned to use it, but he never did. To this day, I use it frequently. Well, now I'm using my black magic. <laughs> he also bought me many Lego sets over the years, and he let me have all sorts of random things from his office supply room. That, oh, to, sorry. I can't read that. I would definitely say the letter G is perfect for a description for my grandpa. So that's a eulogy for my grandpa. Um, he lived to be 70. Huh? He, <laughs> he lived to be 78 years old. Um, and yes, yeah, so that's for my grandpa. I hope you um, enjoyed the city, and I'll see you next time. Bye. This, um, the reason I couldn't read my. Um, the words is because he was printed on a picture, and this picture shows him after he was re-diagnosed with cancer, and he was on a carousel, and he was still full of life and having fun. Um.